Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I got the Crochet World February 2021, and it came with a little African book. I thought I would kind of show you guys the patterns that's in it, the, the pictures, <laughs> not the patterns, because that's illegal, so that if you um, aren't sure if you want to buy it, because mine was in like a plastic bag at the store, so I couldn't like open it and look through it. So I thought I would show you guys the patterns. That way you can decide if you want to purchase it or not. But yeah, so it's this one. It's a scrappy one. <laughs> I've seen a few people get it. So I'm just going to show you the patterns. I'll show you the overview because on the back it shows like all the patterns. And then I'll show you the larger pictures. So here's all the patterns that's in it. A lot of cute scrappy blankets if you're into that this year, which a lot of people are. So let's go through them. This one's called the Painted Desert Cardigan. This is really cool. I can see a lot of people making this. I don't know how I feel about these tassels, but the cardigan itself is beautiful. And it is, it has sizes, um, small, medium, large, extra large, 2X, and 3X. So it's got a pretty good array of sizes. So what the next one is, okay, the next one is a purse. Tunisian meets tartan bag. Tunisian bag. It's really cool. Totally scrappy scarf. Ooh, that's nice. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. This is a doily. It's called Wreath of Roses. I love stuff like this, but I've never made anything like that. Yeah, because it takes a size 10 crochet thread and a 1.65 millimeter hook. Mm. That's small, but it's so delicate and pretty. Spiral bracelet is on here. I don't know if you can see that good. That's pretty cool. Ooh, this is one reason I really wanted this. I've seen someone else show this, and I've been wanting this pattern, and it's in a book that I almost bought just to get this, but then I found it in the magazine. But it's I Love Scraps Afghan, and it's little heart shapes. I love that. I've been wanting to make one of those for years. Don't know if I actually will make it, but I want to. <laughs> Next is a First Signs of Spring scrap blanket. That is so pretty. Because you could use any colors you wanted, you know. You could theme it, or you could just use random colors. And, you know, the gray right here, but you could also do like a pretty green color. That would be pretty to make it look like grass. That's pretty. Here's a rug called the Linen Stitch Rug. That's nice. It uses 2,000 to 200 yards of worsted weight. I'm assuming you probably hold it. Oh yeah, you work with five strands held together. Woo. And use a P-hook. <laughs> that would hurt your hands. I guess you could use a bulky yarn though. But then you wouldn't get that mixed up look. Oh, I like this one too. This is called the Cascading Shells Throw. Another pretty scrappy blanket. Very pretty. And then there's uh, Amigurumi. It's called Patchwork Puppy. I feel like this was in this book before. I think I have a book with the same dog, but he's different colors. Because I did a cat, a horse, a cow, a pig, I think. In this scrappy look. But it's still cute. Next is a hot pad, and it's called the Scrappy Hot Pad. So there's a themed one, and then there's a scrappy one. That's really pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. These colors are really nice, too. Scrappy shells throw. Really pretty, like, jewel tones. But, you know, again, you can use whatever color you want. Scrap happy afghan. I like this one, too, because it's different stitches. That's cool. I like them. Whoops. I like them when they're different stitches because it makes it more fun. You know, it's not just the same thing over and over again. That's really pretty. I like that one a lot. It's an article... I think that's all the patterns. Nope, I was wrong. This is called Hills of Ireland Throw. This is really pretty. The color is pretty and it's got cabling. Very pretty. What does it do? It uses nine skeins of 364 yards. It's a lot of yardage. <laughs> and K hook. My magazine's falling apart. <laughs> Cabled headband and mitts. These are pretty. I like those mitts. I 
this is a really nice scarf for a man. It's called Aaron Honeycomb Scarf. Look at that. That'd be a good Christmas gift for a man in your life. I know a lot of dads and grandpas would love that. <laughs> That's really pretty. All right, this is really cool cow too. It's called the braided cable cow. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. That's pretty. And then there's a necklace. It's called the knot necklace. Right there. That's really pretty. I like that too. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it though, because it looks like it needs a little. Yep, little tiny hook. <laughs> okay, this is like a wedding pillow. This is cool. Tying the knot pillow. And it's like a ring bearer pillow. That's actually really pretty. That'd be a good wedding gift too, maybe. Just to keep as like a memento. Really pretty. I like this because I love decorating for holidays. And it's called Lacey Hearts Runner. It's a table runner. And it's got hearts on it. Let's see here. It calls for size 10 cotton and a 1.65 millimeter hook. Mm. So little. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I could do it, but it would probably take me like years. This is called, this is like a doily. It's called Romantic Garden. This is pretty. I like this a lot. The colors are pretty too. It uses cotton thread and a 1.9 millimeter hook. So that's all the patterns that are in the actual magazine. And then the, the version of it that I bought came with this little Afghan book as an extra bonus. So we'll flip through it too. So the first one is the Summer Breeze Throw, which is the one that's on the cover. I like that. It's really pretty. And does it say how many's on there? No. The second one is called Wine Country Throw. <laughs> this is really pretty. The color and the stitch work. And then Diamond Overlay Scrap Gan. Ooh, this is nice. Looks, it's one of those that looks super complicated, but I bet it's not. That's nice. I like that. Then there's the Pico shells. That is pretty. I like that a lot. That is really pretty. And there's one for breast cancer, or I guess you can do any, you know, to change colors to make different cancer awareness. But it's from the Heart Lap Can, so it's just like an easy lap can, and it's got a awareness ribbon, so you can change the colors for anything, really. Um, cabin Retreat Throw. That one is nice too. They're all nice. I like them all. <laughs> I love Afghans. It's all fun to make Afghans. Step by Step Afghan. This is cool. Because like, it's like a skewed. That looks cool. Is that the last one? No, it is not. There's one more. Holiday Snow Afghan. I like this. It shows it here in red, green, and white. And then it's got another picture on the back of blues and whites. That is really pretty. I'm going to have to make that. I need a new Christmas blanket. So that's the little extra book. So I bought this at my Walmart. It was $6. It's $5.99. So that's not bad for all these patterns because there's a lot in here that... And you know, we think about it because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, 10, 15, 21... Plus the afghans, that's super cheap per pattern. Um, even if you just make like two projects out of here, it would be worth six dollars. It'd be like you bought six, you know two patterns. So that's that's pretty cool. I think that's a good deal. I really like this cardigan. I don't make wearables, but maybe one stays. But yeah, so that's the February. I think this one comes out every quarter, so it comes out like four times a year, I think. Um, flip them kind of a flip through. I didn't actually flip through it, but I can't show you the patterns because, you know, that would be bad. But I would suggest buying it, if you, especially if you're really wanting to do the um, scrap cans this year. A lot of people are doing scrappy projects because it came with a lot of pretty ones and mine came with the extra pattern book. It was in the front and you could see it. So, and it was in like a bag. I don't know if every version of it comes with it, but this one did. <laughs> so yeah, I liked it a lot. So <laughs> I think uh, if you're interested in napkins, this would be a good copy because it's only in where I'm from in Tennessee, it was only $5.99. So it's like buying one or two patterns and you get a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so uh, definitely check it out if you're interested in any of the patterns that I showed. And let me know down below if you purchased it already or if you got it in the mail or whatever. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.